Hey guys, it's Sarah Young with My Nest Matters, and today I'm going to go over a topic that's really kind of a sensitive and important topic for me, which is all about better beauty and skin using essential oils. And for me, you know, if you are one that struggles with your skin, whether it be acne, some sensitive skin conditions like rosacea or dermatitis or eczema, maybe it's yourself, maybe it's your kids, um, and you've tried everything. You've tried the expensive creams, over the over-the-counters, you've gone to the dermatologist, and nothing seems to keep working. This is for you, this video. And I know exactly where you're at because I I struggled with that too for a good majority of my life all throughout my teens and into my adult years I struggled with terrible acne and it was embarrassing and it I spent a lot of money on it and it impacted a lot of areas of my life and um, I had a secret struggle that I didn't tell people about that actually was about feeling beautiful. I had such bad acne that it impacted my my confidence, how I went in my day-to-day -day life, um, how I saw myself compared to others. I started comparing myself and um, impacted my dating relationships, my um, my friendships. And, um, you know, that's something that I know that a lot of women struggle with in their teens and even into their adult years. If you've gone through it in your teens and then you're an adult and you still have it like I did, you know, it's, it's so frustrating. So if you're there, I've been there. So I'm going to go over a couple of things today that you can use to start making some of your own options at home and see if they work for you. Okay. Now I talked, I talked about through my teens and through my twenties, I had some really bad skin conditions. And so around my wedding, I wanted to have pretty skin for my wedding. And so I asked, went to the dermatologist and I'm really against over the counters and things like that. Throughout my teens, I actually was on Accutane twice and topical applications and things like that too. And they wreaked havoc on my body. Uh, Accutane, as we know, is one of those silent, like, split personality things that like impact so many teens and I was one of those and so I had to come off of that it created some depression for me and so I'm really passionate about um, knowing how you feel those feel that struggle with this but also um, the struggles that you go through with it because I went through it too and so um, when I came to my wedding, I decided to go back on something, and um, I went to the dermatologist, got some stuff, some creams and different things. Obviously, it cleared up, but I didn't want to stay on it forever, um, as I knew the side effects uh, for staying on these things for long-term, antibiotics and stuff. <clears throat> and so when I went after my wedding, I went back to the dermatologist, and I said, hey, it's over. Let's figure this out now. I'm ready. Maybe it's a food allergy. Maybe it's like I need to cut this out of my diet. Like, help me. Let's figure it out. Can we do some tests? And the dermatologist looked at me and said, um, you can continue taking the cream, but if not, I can't help you. There's nothing I can do for you. You just need to take the cream. It worked. Why would you not continue taking the cream? It was a topical antibiotic. Uh, why would I continue taking that doc to your doctor? Uh, because it has side effects. Like there, and this is only a band aid. And so that's when I really realized how flawed our um, medical system was that we just focused so much on these band aid solutions. So I took my health into my own hands after like 15 years of struggling with acne. And I, um, I started to eliminate things in my diet, started using supplements, and started um, looking into more clean options for creams and topical stuff. And so the food helped, the diet helped, the supplements helped. Um, but until I found essential oils, that was a missing piece in the beauty regimen of cleaning my face, of dealing with little bumps when they would come up and stuff like that. And, um, and so... <clears throat> I would buy really expensive creams. I bought them all. The expensive $100 bottle ones to buying different $5 or $10, you know, options every other week trying to find the magic solution and none of it worked for me. And, and so my skin started clearing up around like 27 years of age when I started taking my um, care of myself with better food habits, having taking supplements, and then also starting to make my own stuff. So when I found essential oils, that's when I was like, screw all these expensive creams, I'm going to make my own and see if it works. And so I'm going to talk about a couple of those creams in a moment, but real quick I wanted to show you this slide. I'm not going to go de too detailed into the different essential oils for different skin types because we would be here forever, but if you have a skin condition, whether it's simple things like, you know, dry skin um, or, uh, you know, you have some wrinkles or mature skin that you want to deal with or, you know, maybe you have oily skin like me or sensitive skin or uh, maybe you have really bad blemished skin um, or clogged pores, there's different options. There's so 
many different oils. So we have about like 15, 20 different oil options here on the top of this chart. Um, anise, basil, bergamot, camphor, carrot, seeds, cedar wood, chamomile, all these different things. Uh, rosemary, ylang ylang. There's different oils that can help with this. And so we'll do a future training on specific oils, but right now I just wanted to share with you an overview and then kind of show you what you can do. So what I would do is I would take the corresponding oils. So for instance, let's say frankincense and lavender. Those are perfect ones to start with that will work for any um, skincare routine. Um, and tea tree, lemon, those are other great ones for like acne specifically, but we'll go into that in another training, the specifics of that. But let's say lavender and start with lavender and frankincense you can make your own face wash. So I use my own face wash. And so I actually have, where is it? A pump, a foaming pump, and I make my own one. You can find those recipes on my blog, but they're like super clean plant-based face washes. And then I put in the corresponding essential oil that works for my skin type. And I wash my face with that every day. Um, then I'll actually make my own serums. And serums are expensive in the stores and they're full of extra junk and fragrances that are actually doing the opposite on our skin. And so I'll make my own serum. And so I'll take a little glass bottle like this and fill it with jojoba oil, which is what really works for my skin type. There's different things, almond oil, grapeseed oil, um, stuff, you know, depending on your skin type, which we'll talk about in a future training, or you could research for yourself. And I'll put that in, and then I'll put the corresponding essential oil in, and I'll make my own serum, and I'll use that. And I have really oily skin, but it tends to work really great on me. I'll also then take an oil and put it on the specific spot of concern, so topically like that. Um, if I didn't want to like make a full-on bottle like this, I could just take a little bit of some jojoba oil or whatever the oil is for you for the carrier oil, like a coconut oil, jojoba oil, almond oil, grapeseed oil, all those, uh, rosehip oil. And then I would take the essential oil and I just take a little bit of this and dilute it down, put some on my hand. So a drop of that, put it in my hand, a drop of this, and then apply it. And I do that every night and every morning before I wake up and put my makeup on. Uh huh. And then I also make my own creams. And so I will take something like mango butter or I'll take something like shea butter. Um, you can get all this off of Amazon or the health food store. And I'll make my own creams or with some beeswax depending what my needs are, whether it be a face cream or whether it be a hand lotion or whether it be, um, uh, body lotion and I'll make my own creams and I'll use the corresponding essential oil in it which is the the thing that goes in therapeutically to really do some great work on the face and on the skin so if you struggle with some sensitive skin on your body uh, you know we have it's crazy how many young kids and babies are dealing with um, eczema and dermatitis and stuff now I really believe that goes to a root cause of something whether it's a food intake in addition to the toxins in our environment you can watch my toxin free chemical home training in the future which is is really important component to this of eliminating the toxins in the home from our dishwashing deter or our clothes detergents to using wool dryer balls instead of dryer sheets things like that um, but you could um, I got off topic but uh, yeah so those are things that we need to also deal with the root cause but this, the, the essential oil can go on and really do some work some powerful work in and of itself as well um, so those are things you can do um, let's see some other options so I'll actually make my own skin toners as well I don't buy skin anything from the store anymore and it's more luxurious and it works better than anything I've ever used before and so I'll take a spray bottle like this and I'll mix in a little bit of of some um, witch hazel and some rose petal water from, um, I really like the uh, Heritage Store ones. Um, and I'll take that, let me see where my witch hazel is, oh here. So witch hazel, some rose water, mix it in, and then put the corresponding essential oil on. So maybe lavender and frankincense or whatever one that is for you, rosemary and lavender. Um, and I'll do that. You can actually make your own um, pad type makeup removers as well. And you can like put it in a little jar and then get put little pads into it and then use it to dab your face and clean your face at night. And you can do it with similar recipes as these. So let me see if there's anything else that I, oh, um, sunburns or different things. That's obviously a beauty component separate from like skin conditions that way, but I'll take something like almond oil or jojoba oil and take the lavender and I'll rub it on location uh, versus buying some expensive product from the store that never works. I do this for my son, myself, and it actually, the redness is gone by the next 
next morning. There's no peeling. It's incredible what these oils can do uh, to support stuff. Um, wrinkles or mature skin. You know, I love rose hip seed, um, which is not an essential oil. It's another carrot oil like coconut oil or jojoba or almond, but I'll use that and I'll mix it with the corresponding essential oil for my skin type as well as an option for a serum. So there's so many options. And once you have these ingredients, like they last like forever. I bought these like a year ago and, um, I just make small amounts as I need and I keep storm properly and stuff like that. So, um, bath salts. This is another type of thing. If you need to relax and calm down or if you have some skin issues, you could take some Epsom salt and some pink Himalayan salt, put a little bit of almond oil in like a jar like this, put in the sea salts, put in a little bit of an almond oil or, or coconut oil, and then drop in the essential oil. That's going to help relieve stress maybe and support that and calm you down in your bath, but also work the what needs to happen on your skin. Um, my son, if he has a diaper rash or any type of skin condition, I specifically only will use like the essential oil and a little bit of carrier oil. I've never bought any diaper rash cream in my life. I don't see the point. Most of them are full of toxins. So we can start the same beauty skin routine with our children, the same as ourselves, and many of the same things we make for ourselves, we can use on them. So I hope you found this training enlightening or this little class enlightening, and I would love to continue helping you and supporting you on this journey of natural living um, and, and particular into you and your family's life. And so I'd love to invite you into a webinar I'm having that dives into essential oil usage even more on how we can use them on our kids and ourselves for natural remedies, including our skin and stuff, and um, get you more information to further along your um, knowledge and seeing if essential oils are the right thing for you. Um, so click on this link provided and jump on board, and I look forward to seeing you in that next training through the longer webinar, and you'll be able to watch it as you want, and I'll be able to give you more in-depth information into the uses of essential oils the specific ones I use, how I use them, and more scientific type of stuff, and understanding how they work in our body. So thanks for being here. I look forward to seeing you on the webinar. Make sure to click the link and um, opt in, and I'll see you on the webinar. Take care.